We have lost objective Freddy. Look at that. Resupplying and healing at the same time. What a genius move. Hi guys, it's Matty Ace and we are back with a, a long Battlefield 1 video. At the time that I'm starting to edit this video, I haven't decided about how much material I'm actually going to put in the video, so I don't know how long it's going to be. Of course, you'll know that when you see the video, of course, I just don't know it right now. So, one of my favorite things to do in Battlefield is kit switching and taking advantage of other players' kits. So one of the things that I really miss from the more modern titles. Hopefully, DICE will in the future come to their senses and bring this back. So, uh, right now, my main goal here is to take out this behemoth, the armored train. And uh, one of the things that happens when I keep kit switching like this is that I kind of confuse what gadgets I actually have. As you can tell here, when I pick up this assault kit, it has the gas grenade, and that would have been perfect in uh, just a few seconds here when I get attacked by something that is very susceptible to gas damage. We have taken objective Oh, I had a gas grenade! I could have gassed him! Come on in! Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I also had the AT rocket gun and I could have shot him with that as well. However, I'm not gonna give up on this train because I love taking out enemy behemoths. Especially when it... Uh, well, it's probably not gonna change uh, the situation here. We're going to win it. They have almost all the flags right now, but... Uh, they're not gonna be able to catch up in points. But it is a little bit worrisome, I'm not gonna lie. So, this tank was a perfect spawn point to get close to the behemoth, and a couple of grenades here, and it's down. Now, you probably noticed that I switched to the light anti-tank grenade also, in order to deal additional damage. I normally run with the incendiary, but uh, yeah, it didn't really matter in this case. And keep in mind, as much as the incendiary can deal about 20 damage to a tank, it doesn't deal any damage to any behemoth. So, uh, yeah, you might want to switch in a situation like that. Here we have one of those situations that I find myself in too often. I spawn into a random bomber pilot and, uh, well, it's not going so good. Now, I see that this is has no chance of uh, success, or, well, that's how I take it. Maybe he actually survives this. But bailing out here, I actually ended up in uh, quite an interesting situation. Uh, I don't think any of these guys expect me here, so... That incendiary grenade... Uh, 141 damage. Pretty nice. Oh, thank you for the save. We have taken objective Edward. We have taken objective Duff. So next clip here, first thing I want you to pay attention to is turbulence. Yep. That's not a bug. It's interesting when you start thinking about it. Somebody who is uh, receiving money, somebody who is receiving salary from the money that we spend in the game has made that. So I'm thinking, if you can create that, imagine how much good things you could add to the game if you would have spent your time doing that instead. Well, food for thought. Anyway, People were quite happy with my latest Fortress Gun video, and you wanted more? At least some of you wanted more? Well, it's quite unusual that I use the Fortress Gun, so here is a little bit of it. I don't know why I tried to oh, shoot that, that guy. Uh, he was actually <laughs> a teammate, but, uh, you know, reflexes. 
So now I always jump out of the fortress gun after each shot while it's reloading. Uh, well, not always. I do it whenever I'm on a flag where I see that it's contested. And that means that anybody could just show up here with a gun and shoot me out of the fortress gun. And I just don't want that to happen. Now, if I can tell by the flag that there is no enemies on the flag, then I could stay in the fortress gun until some people show up. And yeah, you see that little uh, bow with a little line on top of the actual D flag. The more red it is, the more it's overweight of enemies on the flag or in the capture zone. If uh, it's equal amount of blue and red, then there's the equal amount. And, well, that means that there's just one more. Well, assuming you're confident that you don't have any teammates there. And what do you know? Another service door for the stationaries. No! 160 damage. <laughs> How did I survive that long? So now, if you didn't already know it, Everything that you see happening in this video and more happens live on my stream which I do on my main channel and the link to that channel is in the description. I also do some in real life stuff and uh, a link to that channel is also in the description. Now my in real life channel is meant to be for traveling an event but I haven't been able to travel all that much lately but I'm sharing my thoughts about other things than gaming so check it out if you're interested. Now there's a lot of people that like the bar storm. Me personally not so much. I think that this, uh, the trench version is a lot better because uh, what you gain in hip fire outweighs what you lose in aim down sight with the, the trench version and vice versa with the storm. I think that the trench version is accurate enough so that the storm, the extra accuracy of the storm doesn't really benefit as much as uh, the hip fire of uh, the trench. But that's just the way I play. And if you have a different playstyle, then obviously you can have a completely different experience. Now I decided to try out a little bit of storm gameplay because of, uh, yeah, just for variety mainly. And, uh, well, here is some of the result. Now you would have thought that by now Battlefield 1 would be more or less dead. Two more games in the franchise has been released and the latest game in the franchise is actually more than two years old now. Now the funny thing about that is that 2042 which is the latest version of Battlefield or the latest game in the franchise is still being updated despite being as old as it is. Now, this is ironic considering the fact that when Battlefield 1 was two years old, well, then we already had Battlefield 5. Now, we all play with the thought and we all always repeat this. Imagine if DICE decided to continue working on Battlefield, uh, Battlefield 1 instead and continue to just give us more maps and more uh, content. That would have been so amazing. And on top of that also fixing some of the bugs. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to believe sometimes actually. But this game actually has quite a number of bugs. Something that uh, if fixed, this game would be even more so amazing. As it turns out however, the people that actually made this game and who potentially could continue on this game, they probably now all work on Embark Studio. And aside from giving us the game The Finals, which I did try out a little bit, I've streamed it, I've made one video of it uh, on my main channel. But to me, there's actually another game that is coming out soon called Ark Raiders from the same studio. And uh, the reason why that is more interesting to me is because it's more my playstyle, I believe, with a lot bigger maps. It has the survival aspect of it, which uh, for the ones of you who uh, were following my channels when I was playing H1Z1. Um, Arc Raiders, which seems to have some elements of that. Um, it's definitely something that I'm going to try out and I hope you will be interested to check out my videos and my streams when I do. 
fact of the matter is, I actually did apply for alpha access. I just I did it just yesterday, and uh, if I'm going to get that, I don't know. Otherwise, I hope I get the beta access. And if that is open beta, then uh, maybe we could put together a gang and uh, do some arc raiding, whatever that means. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. There might be something good and interesting coming in the near future. Who knows? Anyway, is Battlefield 1 immortal? Is, is this the ultimate battlefield? I don't know, some people say so. And uh, the fact that the numbers of players do not seem to be declining, um, well, that kind of speaks for itself. But, uh, yeah, who knows as the years goes by. Truth be told, I don't think that the age of a Battlefield 1 is going to matter all that much. I think what's going to matter is whether or not we have something better, whether or not DICE can, uh, or any other studio, can provide us with a game that actually, truly can replace Battlefield. But, uh, yeah, it's looking more and more bleak, to be honest. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. This is one of the longer ones, and uh, I hope I will see you in my daily or, well, sometimes nightly streams on my main channel. Thank you all for watching. Hello, sniper. Your ammo. Guys, oh, low. Oh my god. This is great. Ah. SMG here. Yeah. <laughs> My team is broken. Yeah, I couldn't right. see him first. It's all the same. Oh, these snipers yeah, on the on the mountain there, they're almost <clears throat> they're almost uh, getting us here. Yeah, that's the Machine gun! Tank on me, if I could have some help. I see it, I see it, I, I can give you ammo, that's all I can do. Yeah, 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 I have ammo. Just limp it into a grenade. I have grenade grenade tool it. instead of... Instead of the limp it. Wait, I'll try to... to go on stationary on the other side. Where, where is it? Can you... Can you... Yeah, it, it is... It is smart. There it was. Can you push it back a bit? He sees me. Ah, uh, it's still over there. Yeah, I'm burning it. I killed it for 52. I killed yeah, him, good.
Ah! That was a little bit too many. But okay! How do you survive that? My limpets, uh, I didn't charge them. Take the ammo! Some ammo! Take it! Grab that ammunition! for you We have lost objective Freddy. I got a few kids at least. We have taken objective apples. I got a few kids with it. Uh, <laughs> like by again over? I'll kill him if you don't. I think that was killing. Yeah. Oh no, I, I missed. Mean oh, another tank is coming. Oh no! Further behind. Oh, he went inside. Oh, let's take his sniper. Out. The combat area. Nice. There's another tank on B. The third tank. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I think they have the. See, us. I interrupted his uh, repair. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hit him twice. Uh, I have a repair. I got nothing left. I, I hit him a lot. But... Oh, yeah, the heavy. <coughs> I need to take out that AA. I'll spawn in on you. Oh, that guy was oh, pretty angry, I think. Down. Oh, he's alive! Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, I'll, I'll kill him, I'll kill him, I'll, I'll kill him, he got out. Yeah, yeah. I wanna kill All him. Right. I can go for him. No yeah, go for him, don't kill him. Oh, okay, no. It's ah, he's outside. Oh, he's gonna jump out. Yeah. No! We have taken objective dust. They've been killing some tanks here. That's like the third tank we killed. Yeah. Some ammo! Grab it!
Oh, stop shooting me. 